I am Victoria Cooksey, and in today's episode, we're going to try a craft chocolate bar, eat some cookies, and even learn a little bit of history. Now, today's bar is a Hogarth chocolate bar. Hogarth chocolate is a bean to bar craft chocolate maker in New Zealand, and this is the Anzac biscuit bar. It's a 53% dark milk chocolate bar with oats and coconut, and the cacao is from Ecuador. Now, when I first saw that Hogarth came out with this new bar, I'm like, it's Hogarth chocolate, it's an inclusion bar, these flavor notes sound tasty, I'm in. But then a viewer, Linda, uh, contacted me and gave me a little bit more information about Anzac biscuits, which led me to also contact Carl of Hogarth chocolate and ask him about it too. So thank you, Linda, and thank you, Carl, for more information. Okay, what's an Anzac biscuit, <laughs> you may ask? Well, in World War One, the soldiers in... Australia and New Zealand. It was called the Australia New Zealand Army Corps is what ANZAC stands for and families would make soldiers cookies and send it to them and it needed to be something that wouldn't be too perishable and something that could ship easily and be with the ingredients that they happen to have because ANZAC biscuits are like an eggless cookie and they ship pretty good. Um, but I guess some of the original cookies were a little bit hard to eat. <laughs> but I think that's kind of a cool piece of history. And Linda let me know that I believe April 25th is Anzac Day in Australia. So it's like a Veterans Day. So it's kind of some cool history. Now we're going to taste this bar and then I'll show you um, some of the cookies as well. So the bar comes in the package like this. And then it has this kind of gold foil interior. And then is the lovely bar with a gorgeous mold. I really love the Hogarth chocolate mold. Okay, now we're gonna taste this bar. Now in Hogarth's bar, they use brown sugar and salted butter to kind of add the flavor of what golden syrup would be because golden syrup is used in the cookies. And to me, when I taste golden syrup on its own, it has kind of a buttery flavor so I can see what they're going with. Okay, chocolate bar here. almost like a little bit of spice and I can't quite peg it. I don't think there's anything added, but I feel like there's a little bit of that scent to it. Definitely coconut and oat. Full body bar. Smooth chocolate, but you get a little bit of that texture from the inclusion. Now absolutely getting coconut and oat flavor and you do get like a biscuit feel to it. Hogar's very good though at like making these really comforting tasting bars like when you're like oh my gosh I need <laughs> something like that go for a Hogarth inclusion bar. Okay so now I've got a little bit of the idea of what's going on there and I get that the salty notes I think the salted butter in there definitely brings a bit of the salty note. Now with the cookies Carl sent me a link to um, an Anzac cookie biscuit recipe but it's not his recipe and it's not mine so I'm not going to list all the ingredients here but I can put a link down below of um, the actual website with this recipe so you can go to the source for that. But I can tell you this has like golden syrup and oats and coconut and those kind of things in it. And they smell delightful. I, I don't know if I've made mine too thick or not, but that's how I like a cookie. So of course this has the golden syrup and the golden syrup is used as more like a binding agent in these type of cookies instead of eggs. So if you can't have eggs, this would actually be a cookie for you. So I want to taste this to kind of compare how did it taste kind of a chocolate to this. But I thought, hey, that's fun. It's a cookie. It's interesting because there is sort of like a biscuit note. Like what do you think of as a biscuit traditional? You get the coconut, you get the oats. And with these, you've got like kind of crispy on the outside and a bit of like toasted coconut and oat because of the outside layer, but the inside is a little bit softer and has more of an untoasted note of those flavors. And I feel like they captured that feeling of texture in the bar with the inclusion of that and what an actual one of the biscuits tastes like. So. Interesting experiment. Thank you, Carl of Hogarth, for sending me a link to a recipe so I could actually try the biscuit as well, which is pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you, Linda, my viewer, for the extra info as well. Be sure to look below this video for links on how you can find this bar, where you can contact Hogarth Chocolate, how you can follow me on Instagram and follow my blog, which happens to have an interview with Carl Hogarth just posted this week too, so look for that link. And I'll put a link below where you can find the source for the recipe of this particular uh, cookie. Thanks so much. And now, hmm, should I eat the chocolate? Should I eat the cookie? Should I put them together? Putting them together sounds good. <laughs>
All right, thanks so much, and I will see you next time.